Hey, y'all. Please don't go nowhere. Okay, don't drop my phone. But yeah, so yeah, I'm sad to just sit in this car. Yeah, it feels so damn good. Y'all see the sun just giving me that, oh, that glow. It's just shining on my face, y'all. I love this. I have not ever wanted to sit in the car. Just with just sitting in the car without it running and having the windows up. Cause it been when it was hot. You better not do this be the fuck out of pass out in that damn car. Oh, excuse me. You better pass out in that car within the first few minutes. No sitting in there when it's hot. But yeah, I got two pairs of socks on. I have my tights on, black tights, my black shirt, and this jacket as y'all can see, and I got my cowboy's mask on. I've been wearing my hair down ever since it's been cold outside. Not only my go-to hairstyle is up in a ponytail. A low ponytail, but a ponytail. Nonetheless. But y'all, mm, mm -mm. Oh, y'all see my cowboy sign back there in the background right here. It's in my back window. That's one always that I've been showing y'all. But yeah, I didn't even realize you could see it from this angle. So I looked at it when that car passed, but I'm like, is this the name on the bill of y'all? I'm like, what? But y'all can see the reflection. But yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This just me rambling. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This feels good, though. And he was like, I still can't get all the fact that he was like, um, black don't hold heat, sir. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Like, I honestly, before I go and do anything, I need, I want to get me some more boots. Like I said in the previous video, which I don't know if I'm going to upload or not because it's long as hell. Hopefully, this one don't get too long. Which it is, and I know it is, but, hold on. <sighs> Scares me. But yeah, I need to get me some more boots. I can't find my other ones. They're somewhere in the house, but I just don't know where they're at. Um, I want to get me a black, like, long sleeve shirt. I got to see how that feels and how it looks on me. How I feel against my skin, how it looks on me. And then... Uh, let um, Yeah, another cardigan? Yeah, hell yeah. Another cardigan. Mm-hmm. Yep. This time a thick one. A thick, thick one. Like, I want the fuzz in the inside. That's a shacket they got at Walmart. Well, that's what they call them. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. I don't know why I be on it so much. Excuse me. But, yeah. Every time I yell, my ass water. But, yeah. I'm not sleepy. It's just. I'm yawning a lot. But yeah, y'all, this is so good. Yesterday would not have had to serve no purpose coming to sit out in the car because it would have been cold in here too. I mean, either way it go, it would have been cold. Still would have been cold. Oh yeah, and I do need to invest in me, like I said in the previous video, invest in me a, um, a plug-in heater. That's going to cost though. But hell... Like I said, the reason why I need to invest in a plug-in heater and why I didn't mention anything about the um, central air and heat that's supposed to be central. This is the second time the damn thing ain't work and they basically don't want to fix it. They'll come fix it then it still won't work. Like I said, the um, generator thing, whatever the hell you think you call this hooked up outside the apartment that when you turn the um, heat or the air on, I was still been spinning. Just been spinning, spinning, spinning. And I mean, like, um, I thought it's supposed to be central air and central heat. You're supposed to be able to be in your house when it's cold and turn the heat on. You shouldn't have to be wearing jackets and coats and shit like that in your house unless that's what you want to do. That shouldn't be what you have to do. But once again, the type of apartment I live in. Like right now, I need to be going to go see if I can get. I don't even know why I thought about it. Why I didn't think about it. That just slipped my mind. I do. I'm lying. I did think about it. It just slipped my mind. I need to be going to. Uh, hold on. Oh, excuse me. I need to be going to 
a couple of appointments in trying to pick up visa applications because this shit here is just ridiculous. It's what it is. It's ridiculous, y'all. Like, you stay in somewhere, you pay your rent, and things just keep constantly breaking. And then when you, it breaks to the point where when you tell them, and they know you need a new one, they'll try everything they can to salvage an old one, or they'll get you one that's been sitting outside like this refrigerator over here by this maintenance shed. It's been sitting out there in all the elements, all the weather and everything, but they want to say, oh, this is new. The fuck it ain't, it's sitting outside. But yeah, that's, and they wonder why people are moving out, amongst other things. The rent keep going up. The apartments keep constantly, not just the individual apartment. You could pay your light bill, but the whole complex, both sides, that side back there and this side over here, they lose lights constantly. And it just be these apartments. That's crazy as hell. It could be, it don't even have to be during a hurricane, a storm or anything. It'll just, like that. And only on the weekend, and it seems like it only happens on the weekend. Or it only happens at night on the weekend. That's ridiculous. We need to go somewhere where we can keep, the complex can keep electricity. Because if the individual tenants are paying all their bills on time, especially their light bill to their own individual light company, well, then these damn... The complex need to do their part and pay the damn city the electric bill for the apartment complex. There's no way in hell that people living in the complex should be doing whatever they're doing in their house and all of a sudden the whole entire complex just loses electricity. That don't make no sense. I mean, I don't get that. But maybe that's just me. Maybe there's something wrong with the way I'm thinking. Or the way I'm thinking, I'm not thinking right or whatever. But, I mean, it just don't make no sense. Like, what? But, yeah. And then, too, you shouldn't have to resort to either buying a plug-in heater or buying a, um, or having a ball of water on the stove just to keep warm in your house. That's kind of feel like you're squatting. Oh, damn, that sun feels good. Thank you, God. That sun feels so good. But yeah, you shouldn't. Nobody should have to live like that. But if you go like everywhere I've been to go apply to look for and apply for or, or to inquire about an apartment complex, they. The amount they want for rent is too damn high. Like, they go straight to like seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a month. I'm like, ma'am, so mostly ma'am, because don't be too many dudes working there. Like, you know damn well that's too much fucking money. Can't nobody afford that. Because, I mean, if people could afford that, we wouldn't need to be in the damn apartment. I have a house if I could afford that. The fuck, I wouldn't be asking you for an apartment if I could afford that. I mean, come on now. I wouldn't be trying, and then another, that'll be, that's another reason why I wouldn't be trying to move from where I live at now if I could afford 900 and some dollars a month. If I'm telling you 700 is too much, $800 a month is too much for one, two, or three bedroom. That's too much for me. Why the hell would you automatically just think, okay, well, $930, $925 is a good amount of money. Ma'am, hell no. You know damn well that's too much money. Hell, they got some houses for $930 a month, $925 a month. And that's the cheapest for two, a three-bedroom, three-bathroom house for rent. Hell, I'd rather rent a duplex for that. At least you got a yard. You got, you might have a garage. You might not have a garage. But at least you got space where you can park. You got rooms to yourself. You ain't got to worry about nobody else that is over you, hopefully. I got a pain in my stomach. Because that's that Mustang making all that damn noise. And you ain't got to worry about it. That's what I was saying. You ain't got to worry about all that if you staying in the house. You just got to worry about Yeah. Oh, that's this damn van right here. Sound like that. Damn, that van sound terrible. But 
I mean, you just got to worry about paying bills. You ain't got to worry about paying for a parking spot. You ain't, hopefully, you ain't got to worry about paying for a parking spot. You ain't got to worry about, um, I don't know. You ain't just got to worry about, like, having neighbors above you make all that damn noise. That's why when I told my dude, he was, I was like, you want, I just asked him just to be asking. Because I told him, I want to stay upstairs. He was like, I said, you want to stay upstairs or downstairs? He was like, hell no, I want to stay upstairs. I'm not going to have them damn neighbors running over me, making all that damn noise upstairs. I'm like, hell, exactly. Because this here shit here is ridiculous. Like, if I would have known now, I mean, if I would have known then what I know now, before I moved in the apartment, I moved in now, I would have told him, can you just move me upstairs? Just move me upstairs. I'll take my time getting my ass downstairs. One step at a damn time. Because this here shit here is just... It's ridiculous. I mean, not now because there's supposedly no neighbors upstairs above me. There's no, the apartment's supposed to be vacant. But why at night I hear people walking around up there? Unless it's some type of ghost or some type of uh, people be coming in there squatting overnight. Anything's a possibility. Who the hell is that truck making that noise or the vehicle making that damn noise? Blah, 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 blah. That type noise. I don't see it, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I said I was gonna go to these apartments back here on Winfern, see how much they is. They're gonna be expensive, trust me, because the other surrounding apartments around here is expensive. Ooh, that feels good to my hand. Shit, y'all, that feels so good. But yeah, and I'm ashy too. Ooh, excuse me. But yeah, that just it don't make no sense the way. Everything in Houston is so damn expensive. Like, what the hell y'all got going on? This is just too goddamn expensive. And you know, with shit being this expensive, can't nobody afford anything. But yet and still, y'all still raising the prices of everything. That truck, that's this truck doing that right here. Y'all can't see it because it's like real bright. How the hell you turn it down? There you go. Right there. This is going to make me dark. Just going to do it right there. I just bad with me being dark, y'all. But yeah, it just it went back bright again. The hell? I just, no, because that's not working. There you go. Nope. Anyways. Y'all yeah, don't pay attention to that back there. It's just me because it's good. That's what I'm going by. I keep getting white back there. But yeah, y'all just, yeah, that's bothering me. Yeah, it's just, it don't make no sense, y'all. Ooh, that sun feel good. Hell yeah. Come on out, son. But yeah, y'all just don't make no sense. It's like, wait a minute. Why is every, I mean, not why, but I'm just, I wish, I just wish everything, the price of everything would go down. And I didn't even think about the point because I watched this video today on YouTube. This is like where this lady sent her grandma back to heaven. Sent her grandma to heaven because of, she said the prices of putting her grandma in a nurse home is expensive. I didn't even know... Well, I'm lying. I did know the price of nurse homes was expensive, but I didn't know it was that damn expensive. And then besides the fact, you should ain't killed your grandma. I mean, you should ain't done that. But yeah, y'all yeah, just, I don't know. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And they complaining about, okay, you got the um, lawmakers, well, not the lawmakers, but you got the government and the city complaining about it's too much, um, too many homeless people. What are we going to do with the homeless people? I mean, if y'all bring down the prices of y'all goddamn rent, you wouldn't have too many people. More people, more and more people on the streets. If y'all lower the prices of fucking rent, somebody can afford to wear, somebody can afford to live. And by afford to live, I mean, they be they can uh, pay their rent, pay their light bill, and still be able to have food and be able to afford gas. Then maybe somebody can actually live. You won't have that much that many homeless people. Or if you help your own citizens out, 
Because it, it, whether you like it or not, the homeless people make up some part of your population too of every state and city. But that's just me speaking. Yeah, I don't know. They ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna do it. I forgot to roll this back up. Friday. It's just been sitting here since. But yeah, y'all it's just... I don't know. I, I don't know. Like... What the hell is going on? I'm just, y'all, I wish shit would just change and be like cheaper for every, for everybody that can so at least be affordable. If not cheap, at least be affordable to where somebody can afford to live comfortably and be able to take care of their family and be able to basically take care of their family and by that I mean eat live comfortably, eat, supply their uh, food for their family, pay their bills, light bills, and whatever, and have gas to go to work, to make the money, to be able to pay your expensive-ass rent. Mm. But that's just me. Those are just my thoughts and opinions and how I feel about it. But yeah, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. There's nothing else I can, nothing I can do about it. It's just try to make it through, pray and make it through it. That's all I can say. Just pray and try to make it through it. It's the best thing I can say to do. Because if things going to change, ooh, excuse me, if things going to change, it's going to have to be from Congress. It's going to have to be from the state leaders. It's going to have to be from the mayors, the governors. It's going to have to be from them. That's what it's going to have to be from. They're going to have to start making changes because when I tell you this shit is ridiculous, it's ridiculous. People don't have, yeah, if they get through paying their rent, expensive-ass rent, then they pay the expensive-ass light bill. Lights going up, bill, light bill getting higher and higher from shit that ain't even our fault. The apartment complex keep losing light. Or from the snowstorm that hit Texas last year, the year before last, one of them two years. And all this extra shit, that ain't our fault. But the light bill still steady keep going up. We still have to pay that on top of the expensive ass rent. And then other things. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Somebody needs to call the damn. There need to be somebody that need to come check out these damn apartment complexes and see how they all running. Because these apartment complexes, what, about 40, I'll say between 40 and 44 years old? These apartments are old as hell here that I live in. They old. Like, the hell? Like, yeah. The wood is old. The foundation is old. The stairs are definitely old. They done painted so much over the, um, over the stairs instead of scraping it off and restarting over, they just paint layers up on layers. You have one layer, they paint 40 more layers on top of that. Instead of scraping it off and starting over, they got like about, I bet it got like 150 type layers of paint of the same color black paint on top of these stairs. Mm. And then the way they run the apartments, it's like, They take so damn long. To, I'm pretty sure they're going to have an excuse or a reason why they do this. But it takes so damn long to fix things that go wrong in their apartment. And then when they, then when they, uh, when you tell them about it, you want them to fix it. You had to have you waiting so damn long. When they do fix it, it's like months later. At the most, a year later. They come back and they're like, maintenance? I'm like, what? I don't remember calling. I forget. I forget. I'm like, damn, I forgot I called maintenance. They come in there and then when they do fix it, some of them half ass fix it. So they can it can break again. And you have to call them back again to come fix it. Damn, if you would just fix the fucking shit right the first time, you wouldn't have to do all that. Oh, and then my thing is if I wouldn't have it, so I just thought about this. If I wouldn't have it, I didn't have so much issue with them apartments and uh the mother apartments I went to. I would have been living over there because I mean they got a little room you could off the off to the patio, you can make that your own room. Would have been, I would have been over there, but there were so many problems trying to secure the apartment that you got there. Oh, we only have one. They didn't let you see the apartment. That's the first thing that's wrong. That's that damn loud-ass red truck from yesterday. 
they didn't let you the first thing that stood out for me i forgot what the word is but they didn't they don't they didn't let me see the apartment they wanted me to fill out an application and pay for an apartment i never did get to see then when you went they talking about come back next time came back next time the same lady that i was there the first time she wasn't there. They come up with every excuse why you can't see the apartment. Oh, maintenance is working on I can ignore the maintenance and just look around. Let me look at the damn apartment. I'm not going to give you pay for something. I don't even know what the fuck it looked like. Like I said, I'm not going to pay no rent for no apartment or give you no down payment on anything. That be that could be a house, apartment, car, motorcycle, RV, ATV, hotel room, whatever. I'm not going to give you no down payment on something I don't know what the inside of it looked like. You could just see the outside. But you can't somehow... She had first excuse, excuse was she's the only one in the office. So she can't take you to go see the apartment. Well, you better call somebody else to come see the apartment. Close the office for however long it ain't going to take that goddamn long. Just close the office for like 30 minutes. We'll go up there, see the apartment, and then come back. You already want to hold my ID until I come back. I would never understood why. Ain't like it's shit in that apartment that I'm personally going to steal anyway. Somebody else might find a way to steal it, but ain't nothing in that damn apartment that I'm going to steal. Why are you right there with me? And then I don't have the key. How am I supposed to get it out the apartment anyway, let alone I don't have the key to get back into the goddamn apartment to get it out? The fuck? So I was fine with them holding my ID. I just want to look at the apartment. So when I get back to the office, you get my driver's license back and I can get the hell on. I can let you know before I leave if I want to continue to go through with it, if I like what I see, or like I say, she said the maintenance, uh, her, the next excuse was, oh, the maintenance is working on the apartment. I'm like, okay, but I can look around that. I know the apartment ain't visibly to the point where you want it to be. It ain't presentable right now, but I can personally, me, I can look over that. I can't speak for nobody else or the next person. I can look over that. I can look past that. I mean, you can see potential in stuff that when it ain't right, you can decorate that shit the way you want. You know, eventually, he gonna vent the maintenance guy's gonna finish the apartment. He gonna be in there forever. Then, the third thing, when I got back, I, I was like, okay, I'll come back and finish the application. Came back there to finish the application, which I still never did go back and finish. But, it was a different, like, they have different management teams in that apartment office. Hold on, who is this? 